Well, thank you, our host, uh, Dennis O'Brien, uh, distinguished members of uh, the commission, uh, vice co-chairs, uh, Ms. Serena Vokova, Dr. Madun Ture, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, my pleasure once again uh, to be here with you and uh, to assess our progress in advancing the Commission's uh, broadband agenda. As it has always been uh, the intention, uh, making broadband uh, services universal, available, accessible, and affordable should indeed remain. Uh, a shared priority for all stakeholders in the government and in the private sector. A recent, uh, I just wanted to share with you from what I read, uh, and a recent affordability index of broadband uh, shows that uh, it is not uh, yet a universal and affordable commodity, especially in the emerging economies and developing countries. According to the index, the cost of entry level broadband services range between 40% uh, and 100% of monthly income of uh, people living on uh, uh, $2 per day. This cost is uh, clearly still prohibitive <coughs> when uh, compared to the <coughs> pricing at less than 5% of monthly income for such people as recommended by this commission. As we all know, there is irrefutable evidence that investment in broadband spurs economic growth uh, with the positive impact on the lives of many, including uh, those in the rural and isolated areas. For example, we found that in China, India, and Brazil, the internet has contributed more than 10% of the total GDP growth over the past five years. In Africa, the contribution of the internet to GDP is estimated at, uh, in total, uh, US 18 billion, and is projected to reach uh, US 300 billion by 2025. Uh, there can be no doubt that for us in Rwanda, broadband and the ICTs have uh, played a role in the progress we have uh, made towards the achievement of the MDGs. They continue to contribute to our economic growth and are uh, helping to deliver more efficiently in education, health, finance, and banking and other sectors. For this to work, we believe that there must be candid and constant dialogue between uh, industry and the government, the kind that will generate trust and productivity. Working together, uh, we can develop pragmatic approaches in policy formulation and regulatory frameworks on issues such as taxation and spectrum pricing, which uh, have become uh, subjects of uh, discussions many times. It is evident that access to knowledge, information, and technology is a prerequisite for innovative innovation and will play an important role in breaking the cycle of poverty. The clear link between uh, innovation, global employment, and entrepreneurial opportunities is no longer limited by geographical considerations. This is why access to broadband and ICT should be part of the sustainable development uh, goals. I'm particularly pleased to see rural broadband on the agenda for this afternoon's discussion by the Commission. Going forward, our efforts should focus on unleashing the smart use of broadband to empower our people in ways that will significantly improve their lives. Uh, let me conclude by paying uh, gratitude to the commissioners uh, for your commitment 
and the dedication to the broadband agenda. I look forward to productive discussions today, and I thank you.